Hello, people. Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this new class, guys. Class number uh, 15, 14. So, people, today is an important day because we have our speaking evaluation for today. Remember, ya tenemos el foro también. Ya está el foro. And the video that we will watch I will send you today the video that we will watch. Ya vimos el primero. I know that we didn't watch it continuously, but we will continue with the second video. Ahí les acabo de mandar ahorita el segundo video con el que vamos a estar trabajando, people. Okay? So, eh, ¿qué vamos a hacer con ese? Work today, tomorrow, and we are going to check the vocabulary that you have on Monday. Estos días que vienen, guys, vamos a estar trabajando bastante, va a haber un montón de información, so please do not miss classes, try to come on time, because the topics that we are going to study, they are going to be, uh, well, important topics. We are going to start with Esta semana, people, vamos a ir con verbos modales. El could, el would, y el should. Okay? So, that's what we are going to work on. And vocabulary, people. Vocabulario. Vamos a trabajar un poquito en vocabulario. Y en el futuro, también un poco en las preposiciones. Así que esos días que vienen sí van a estar cargados de bastantes cosas. Y lo último, people, la última oral evaluation that we will have, la última evaluación oral, va a ser un role play de ustedes en el hotel. Ok, so that's about it. People, let's go. Right now, let's start with today's evaluation guys remember ya tenemos las preguntas ahí en el grupo what are the questions the questions are i'm sorry what is your daily routine what is someone else's daily routine for example your mom yo voy a venir le voy a preguntar what is your mom's daily routine y yo uso tercera persona my mom she wakes up she takes a shower, she goes to the park, she works, la, la, la. My dad, my dad works, he stands up very early, he takes a shower, he goes here, he plays that, la, la, la. ¿Qué tal si yo le pregunto, what is your mom's daily routine? Y usted me dice, no, no tengo mamá. Sí, puedes decirme eso. No, I don't have mother. I don't know my mother's daily routine, pero le voy a decir la rutina de mi hermano, de mi tío, de mi mejor amigo, de mi... Eh, papa, de mi jefe, whoever, okay? So, tell me about yourself. Recuerden, nuestro propósito siempre es 30 segundos y por lo menos 6 oraciones. What did you do last Sunday? What did you do yesterday? How were you as a kid? Esas preguntas vamos a estar trabajando, okay? Le puedo preguntar, what did you do last Saturday? What did you do last Monday? Yes, okay. Preguntas, guys. Let's practice a little bit right now. Let's see. So, people, we are going to practice right now. Vamos a practicar unos minutos antes de empezar con nuestra evaluación, okay? So, let's practice... 15 minutes, vamos a practicar between 10 to 15 minutes, entre 10 y 15 minutos. Y luego ya empezamos con nuestras evaluaciones. So, practiquen las preguntas que están en el grupo. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Let's practice.
Entre nosotros. Okay. Hola. Hey, question, guys. Preguntas. Eh, no. Dudas que tengan, no? Everything clear? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Practiquen. Cualquier pregunta. Háganse ahí entre ustedes una pregunta and let's go with it. Ok. okay. Thank you, guys. Sandra, are you here? Yes. Ok, Sandra. What is your daily routine? Ok. Uh, my daily routine, it is simple. I get up at uh, lunch at the noon and and, and I finish uh, the work uh, at the at five o'clock and then I I come back uh, to my house I come back home. You can say I come back home. Oh, okay, I come back home, and uh, I I see the class, the the English class at eight o'clock, and I go to the bed at uh, eleven eleven p.m. Okay. Okay. Only that. Only that. Eh, preguntaría yo ahora, ¿verdad? Así es. A cualquiera, pregúntele a cualquiera. Ok, ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Jacqueline. Eh, quiero ver, sería. Where is. Where is some. So one else daily routines. Mm. Ahí le puede preguntar, por ejemplo, Jacqueline, la, what is your mother's daily como... routine? Ah, okay, okay. O del que usted quiera saber. Okay. Uh, uh, Jacqueline, what is your brother routines? Oh my my brother routine is in the morning um he take a shower um he um, make breakfast um he go to the high school and he play Soccer in the afternoon. Okay, lady. Recommendations. Number one, un poquito más rápido. Okay, lo primero que se venga a la mente. Segundo, cuidado con el he and she. Okay, so she no porque estamos hablando de su hermano. Y tercero, no me ocupo la S al final de los verbos. He goes to play soccer. He takes a shower, he eats breakfast, ¿ok? La S al final del verbo. Tenga cuidado con eso. Si okay, no, significa say... que no la estamos usando. Otra vez, dele otra vez. Segundo round. Okay. Let's try it. Uh, What's your daily routine? Uh, daily routine, my brother. Your He's... brother's daily routine, yeah. He... Take a shower. She or he? He, I'm sorry. He okay. takes Be careful. a shower. Um, he go, goes. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. okay, tell me about yourself. Next question. What did you do last Sunday? Okay. Number four. Eh, Number four. 
What did you do? What did you do you love Sunday? <clears throat> okay. I what I what karat how do you say me prepare both of them? Wait, wake up and I woke up. I woke up. I woke up 7 a.m. I shower and get dressed at 7 10 a.m. I had breakfast at 7 30 a.m. I rushed at seven seven four forty five. Yeah. I went short at I am. I have lunch at twelve. I had dinner at seven PM. I play a Kalazuri. I sleep. I sleep at eleven p.m. That's all. All right. Uh, next question. What did you do yesterday? Okay. Uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. I shower by 20 a.m. I have breakfast at 30 a.m. Chat at 5.45 a.m. I work at, at from 7 at 7 a.m. at 48 p.m. I have dinner at 6 p.m. I study English class at 8 p.m. I sleep at 12 p.m. All right. Okay. How are you, uh, Skip? Teacher, what is a Skip? Niño. Cuando eras niño. As a kid. ¿Cómo era cuando era niño? Esa es su tarea de foro también. Oh, pero Skip, aquí no le falta un Skip. Pero... Okay. Mm. I was him. I was an obedient boy. I was a good boy. I was a good friend. I was a student. I was a good student. I was very fun with my friend. That's all. Yes, sir. Uh, that's all.
let's wait for everybody, guys. Okay, people, we are going to start. Just give me a second. I ask a volunteer who wants to start, sorry, before we start guys, just little tips before we start our presentations. Number one, be careful with the third person. Cuidado con la tercera persona. Es al final de los verbos, okay? Por ejemplo, estamos hablando de la rutina diaria de mi papá. He wakes up very early in the morning. He takes a shower. He takes... He goes, he watches, he cooks, he reads, he studies, whatever, ¿ok? Cuidado con la tercera persona. Cuando estemos hablando del pasado, los verbos en pasado. I cook, I cook. I work, I work. Recuerden, podemos ponerle el sonidito de T al final, en that will be valid. Si nos recordamos bien de las reglas, podemos hacer el sonido de la T y el sonido de la D. I called my mother. I watched TV. Y recordemos que los verbos como visit, accept, need, want, el pasado va a ser wanted, visited, accepted, uh, and so on. ¿Ok? Esas son las cositas que tenemos que tener cuidado en el pasado. Let's see, guys. Let's start. Volunteer. Yo. Okay, Sandra, let's see. Give me just a second. Give me one moment. Okay. Give me one second. Just let me create something here. Names. Okay, Sandra, please tell me, what is your daily routine? Okay. Um... My daily routine, it is simple. I get out at 7 a.m., sometimes 8 a.m. I work from home. I get out, I uh, take a shower. I don't have breakfast. Uh, I only drink milk. And my job is uh, carry out service service Serbia uh, I take my lunch at 1 p.m. I watch TV and um, then at uh, 2 p.m. I go back to work I leave at 
6 p.m. And uh, I go to talk uh, to my mom. Later, I have my dinner, play, play with my cat, and watch TV is basically my daily routine. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday? Yes. What? Sorry, repeat. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday. Um, my that my days is basically parecidos. Say you. How do you say parecidos igual? <laughs> It was similar? Yeah, similar. Um, it basically, um, I get up in a 7 on AIM. I am. Um, the, um, I'm my friend, my from home. I get up, uh, take a shower. And, it's basically the it's, <laughs> my days is igual es casi todos los días. No, okay. That's it. Don't worry. Let's see. Tell me. Uh, how do you spell your two last names? Uh, sorry. How do you spell your two last names? Que se lo deletrero. Yes. R A M um Yeah. Hey, I am, no, 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 sorry, R, A, M, U, R, R, uh, A, Z, <laughs> Z, okay, don't worry. Um, nervous. <laughs> so that's it thank you so much good job lady later on later on we are going to más adelante le voy a mandar los resultados people cuáles son las áreas en las que tenemos que trabajar and so on so eh, ahí van a ver cuáles son las áreas de mejora. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you, Sandra. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's continue. Who wants to be the next one, guys? Volunteer. Or do I select? Your teacher. Luis, thank you so much. Luis, tell me. Tell me about yourself, please. Um, okay. Uh, bueno, uh, my name is Luis uh, Monterosa. I am uh, 25 years old and I live in, in uh, Mexicanos, San Salvador. Uh, I like uh, uh, listen to music, uh, music rock or rock music. Uh, 
my favorite food is uh, pizza. My favorite drinks is uh, Coca Cola. And I, I study in the university uh, in chemistry in general. And uh, I, I have a pet, a two pet. Uh, I boot our uh, dogs. Uh, they, they uh, names are Blacky and uh, Nina. And only that. Okay. Let's see. Tell me, what is, no, what did you do last Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday? Yes. <coughs> yes. Uh, the weekend was coming. Yep. Okay. And I, I went uh, to the work uh, in the morning of uh, Saturday uh, and and I I went to the park in the in the night uh, or Saturday and uh, and the Sunday I I woke up in, at eight o'clock and take a shower. I took a shower at uh, ten your see ten ten o'clock. Uh, then uh, I I have a, I had a lunch, uh, but I not. I have I have a breakfast. Uh, only have a lunch then so uh, then I watch a TV and I uh, I I went to the bed at uh, eleven o'clock. Only that. Okay. Good, excellent. Let's see. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Luis. Thank you Thank for you, your answer. And that's basically it. Thank you. Let's see, let's continue. Another person, another volunteer. Who wants to be the next one? Today, guys, will be the day. Everybody will pass today. Me? Thank you, Nelson. Give me a second. Nelson, tell me, what did you do last Sunday? Um... I had breakfast in my house and when I visit my father, I went to house my father. I had lunch in house with my father. Um, I cleaned the garden of my father. I left for house my father as the afternoon and I had dinner in my house. Finished. Good. Tell me, what is your daily routine? Um, my daily routine is uh, I I wake up five o'clock. I brush. 
I get dressed and I have breakfast in my in my house. I go to my job and I have lunch in my job. I have dinner in my house and I listen to music at the night. Finish. What is your father's daily routine? Um, my father daily routines and um, he wake up at four o'clock and he he goes your job and he has dinner. Have have breakfast in your job. Um, he have lunch in his job, and as the night he go to the supermarket, and he have dinner. As the night. Thank you so much. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Later on, you will see what are the, the things or the areas that we need to improve. Thank you. Let's continue now with another person, another volunteer who wants to be the next one, guys. Somebody. Okay, let's see. I go with Reina, Reina Barahona. Let's go, lady, okay. and let's begin. Please tell me about yourself. Sorry? Tell me about yourself. Um, my name is Reina Barahona. Uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite is cook lasagna. Uh, my favorite uh, listen music. Uh, uh, I am more, uh, I am, I am more uh, in company mar. Um, I am accounting. Uh, I am married. Um, I am forty-five old year. Um, finish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me, what is your daily routine? Um, I wap I wake up uh, at thirty thirty. Uh, no, thirty. Um, I am I am go uh, at work uh, at five a.m. o'clock. Um. I I go is I I go at I go a uh, war um for uh, eight eight o'clock because I am on my job at eight o'clock in the morning eh, at uh, lunch eh, I am lunch eh, at twelve twelve twenty eh, I am I am a, I am break. A, I am break at thirty three afternoon. Um, 
coffee, I am drink, I am drink coffee, and I am return uh my house uh night night p.m. o'clock. Okay. Tell me, what did you do yesterday? Um, um, uh, I I walk uh, at thirty thirty three thirty uh, I am uh, I going to, I going to work at five o'clock. Uh, oh no, sorry. I I I went. I went. Uh, I went at war uh, at five and uh, I long I I launch uh, I launch at twenty twelve pardon twenty I am um, no sorry. I ate. I ate lunch at twelve twenty 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 o'clock. And I I work at activity in the world. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you so okay. much. We finish with evaluation. Más adelante vamos a ver cuáles son las áreas en las que tenemos que trabajar para mejorar nuestro inglés. Thank you so much. Good. Okay, teacher. Uh, let's see. Continue with... Let me see. Diego, are you in here? Yes, Diego, you are next. Hello. Hello, Diego. Let's begin with the interview. And I have a question for you. What is your daily routine? Uh, my daily routine is I wake up at four o'clock. I Take a shower. I brush my teeth. I get dressed. I go to the work. I eat breakfast. I visit my my visit some clients. I return at home. I had dinner. I go to bed. Thank you. Finish. Tell me, what is your mother's daily routine? Um, My mother wake 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 up seven o'clock. She prepares breakfast. She brushes her teeth. She goes to work early. She has lunch at lunch at noon. She returns at home at seven o'clock. She at dinner at half past seven. She washes wash her clothes. She leaves at nine o'clock. Okay. What did you do yesterday? 
باید دیگه دور گفتیم بود I work, work out in four o'clock. I went to work. I had breakfast seven o'clock. I went to visit some clients. I eat chicken for lunch. I drank soda, I played on my phone, I listened to music in the afternoon, I washed my clothes. Finish. Okay. Thank you so much. We finish with the evaluation later on. You will see what are the areas that we need to work. Thank you, mister. Let's continue now and I go with Fredis. Are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Fredis, please tell me, how were you as a kid? I'm sorry, que no se le escuchó. Se le escuchó un poco trabado. So, let's go again. Tell me, uh, how were you as a kid? Okay. I like it. Watch TV in the grandmother's house. I like it studying with my friends. I love playing soccer in the street in front of my house. I like I like to uh, play another game with my friends. I like to uh, play in the Super Nintendo, Mario Bros, Donkey Kong. It's all. Okay. Good, excellent. Tell me, what is your daily routine? I wake up at four and a half of the morning. I dress up, prepare my breakfast. I eat food from my bed. I have to cat and um, one dog. Uh, I drive to San Miguel City and leave my wife in your work. I drive to my work and check my attendance. I write my office and take coffee. Prepa I prepare my laptop to my daily routine work. Uh, at the five o'clock, try again to my house, take a rest, take my English class, and go to my bed at 10 o'clock. Thank you, mister. That's it. Thank you so much. We finish with the evaluation. Later on, you will see what are the areas that you need to work on. Okay? okay. Thank you. Let's continue and I want to know Jacqueline. Jacqueline, are you there? Yes, teacher. Jacqueline, can you tell me, what is your telephone number? Um, seven, uh, five, six, seven, 
seven, four, one, two. Thank you. Good. Tell me about yourself, please. My name is Jacqueline Dubon. I am 23 years old. I have a boyfriend and I live with my family. I live with Metapan. I work at Claro. I am I sell Ijen. My favorite color is black. My favorite favorite food is pizza. My favorite drink is coffee. My favorite hobby is listen to music. I have a pet is dog. Good, excellent. Tell me, what about your brother? What is your brother's daily routine? <laughs> um, he takes, takes a shower. He takes a breakfast. He goes to a school. He plays soccer. He does homework at the night. Good. What did you do yesterday? Um, on Saturday, on Saturday, I work at Hunter. I clean it. Um, have dinner with my family. I visit my friends. On Sunday, with my, my boyfriend to the beach and watch his soccer games. Okay. Thank you. We finish. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mister. Thanks to you, lady. Let's continue now, guys. And I go with the next person, Jennifer. Jennifer Lisette. Okay, teacher. Jennifer, tell me, what is your daily routine? Okay. My daily routine is I get up at 4 a.m. I prepare breakfast for my family and my dog at 4 a.m. At 20 to 5, I take a shower. At 10 to 5, I get ready to go to work. I take a bus. I work from 7 a.m. at 6 p.m. In my work, I attend clay, I clean, I am the cashier, and I sell person. From 8 p.m. at 2 p.m., I have dinner and I study English. And I get to bed at 10, half past 10, finish. Good. Let me ask you, what okay. did you do last, last Saturday? Sorry, solo deme un segundito. That's okay. Okay, teacher, repeat, please. Yeah, no problem. What did you do? last saturday okay last saturday i worked from 10 a.m at 5 p.m in my work at 10 clients and i received class of marketing and i inventory <laughs> how do you say hacer inventory you did an inventory. Oh, I did an inventory. Yeah. Good. Finish. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue. 
cut and cheese six. So let's continue with next person is Carla. Okay, teacher. Carla, please. Can you spell your last name? Okay. M E N D O D A. Good. Excellent. Tell me about yourself, please. Okay, my name is Carla Lorena Mendoza. I am 28 years old and I am teacher and I work at Christian School. I, I teach uh, first, second and third grade. I teach Spanish and I like play soccer and I I live with my mom. My mom is is, is teacher too. I have only only brothers. My brother lives in Costa Rica. I have I have uh four uncles and I I like uh, teach I like work with children only that okay tell me um. How were you as a kid? Mm. I, I was a thing. I was the smallest of my classmates. My classmates made fun of, of me for being small. Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't careless. I like uh, to take care of my thing. I was a good player of soccer. I like to play soccer with my cousin. And I was um, bad uh, at English. And I I practiced basic English words with my school teacher. I was very organized, but I wasn't very punctual. And now I am not very punctual either. <laughs> But I try to be responsible at my work. Thank you so much, Carla. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Good job, lady. We finished with the evaluation. Thank you so much. Thank Great. You. Let's see, Kenya, it's your turn now. Hello, good evening. Hello, lady. Good <laughs> evening. Kenya, tell me about yourself, please. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> tell me about yourself. No, tell me about you. Tell me about yourself. Ah, formación personal. Exactly. Yes. Hello, my name is Kenya. Uh, I am 30 years old. Uh, my favorite food is pupusa. No, my favorite food uh -huh, is pupusa. My favorite drink is cafe. Coffee, perdón. <laughs> uh, uh, I am living in Rosario. I work is in Multinet. Uh, yeah, my favorite color is blue. My favorite uh, movie is Titanic. My favorite music is um, uh, Bachata. <laughs> uh, finish. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Tell me, what about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday I went to work in Zaragoza, serving clients, try in a spa, work, go buy a chair. <laughs> I play with my dog. <laughs> I feed, I sleep um eleven. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. We finish. Later on, you will receive the. Well, what are the areas that we need to work on and everything? So thank you so much, lady. Good job. Let's continue now. I go with Kevin. Kevin, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Kevin. So please tell me about yourself. Okay, teacher. Uh, my name is Kevin. My last name is... Lasso, I am a 24 years old. I am a accountant. I work at Yungo. I live in Soyapango. My favorite color is green and black. My favorite animal is shark. My favorite movies is Fast and Furious. My favorite sport is soccer um, only. Okay. Uh, good. Tell me, how do you spell your name? Okay. K E B I. Okay, good, excellent. Let's see. Tell me, what did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I went to play soccer. I went to the park. I went running. I went to class. At the university, I went to have a coffee only. Okay. Tell me, how were you as a kid? I was good soccer player. I was good student. I was slim. I was an still is happy i was a small i was a good video game player only okay thank you so much That's it. Thank you. Later on, you will receive the scores and everything, okay? Thank you so much. Let's continue, and I go with Marvin. Yes. Are you there? Hello, mister. Let's see. Marvin, please tell me, what is your daily routine? Uh, my daily routine? Yeah. Uh, all today start at quarter uh quarter I don't remember six forty five quarter to seven quarter to seven yeah yeah thank you uh, I wake I woke up at 
quarter to seven, I get up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and brush my teeth. I, I went to my work. I, I started to my job at 8 p.m. A.M., sorry. Uh, usually, uh, in the day, all the day, I attend clients, uh, put rechargers, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, showed, I showed the cell phones uh, in the noon, I had a lunch. I return return it to my house at five p.m. I had my dinner at seven p.m. Usually seven p.m. and I say I start my class. Started my class at eight p.m. And I usually go to the go when. I usually went to the bed at 10 p.m. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, well, that will be... Let me ask you, last question. What did you do last Sunday? Uh, the last Sunday... Yes. Uh, Sunday in my day off, I don't work in the Sundays, and I usually wake up, woke up in the Sunday at eight p.m. In this Sunday, in a specific, uh, I visited my best friend. I I went to your your house. No. I went to your house, your house at 10 p.m. I hit the lunch with with she. And I returned to my house at 4 p.m. And it's all Sunday is my day. Uh, how do you say menos ocupado? My less busy day. As the Sunday is my less busy day. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you too. Let's continue now. Give me a second. Miguel. Let's continue with you. Tell me. Miguel, tell me, how were you as a kid? Ah, okay. I was thin. I was an obedient boy. Uh, I was a good boy. I was a good friend. I was a good boyfriend. I was a good student and I was friendly with other people. I was very fun with my friends. Only that. Okay. What did you do last Saturday? Last Saturday. Okay. Uh, I went to get a high 
could play Call of Duty and spend time alone um, at home. That's all. That's all. Okay. What about your... Well, tell me, what is your daily routine? My daily routine is I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning every day. I get up at, at, I get up at 10, but why in the morning I take a shower at 16 past 5 I have breakfast at 5 half past 30 I brush my teeth at 5 40 5 4 5 a.m. I go to work at 6 a.m. I have I had a lunch at 12 p.m. I finished work at 3 hours past 48 p.m. I get home at 4.30 p.m. I eat dinner at 6, 16 p.m. I go to sleep 11 o'clock p.m. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's see. Next one. Maurice, are you there? Good evening. Good evening, Ask mister. Me. Let's begin right now. So, Maurice, please tell me, how do you spell your two last names? Oh, I spell uh, my two last, na two last name is M-O-R-A-R-E-S. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about yourself, please. Repeat, please. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Uh, I am. Uh, my name is Morris. Uh, I I have a uh, thirty eight years old. Uh, I have a new job. Before uh, working in Talk Americas, uh, today. Uh, Talk in Cuscatlan Bank. I am advisor of finance, financial advisor. Uh, 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 my favorite uh, uh, food is Mexican food. Uh, my favorite drink is coffee. Uh, my hobby is uh, how do you say pasar tiempo? Spend time. Spend time with my daughter only. Okay. Good. Tell me. What did you do last Sunday? Uh, last Sunday, uh, I got up at uh, 5 a.m. Uh, with my wife, uh, uh, we, my wife, uh, we make uh, quesadillas. Uh, last, uh, 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 we go at the shows. Uh, uh, we, uh, we go on the playground with my family only. Thank you. That's it. We finished with the evaluation.
later on, you will see the areas to work. Thank you so much. Good, let's see. Next one, Nestor. Kelby, please. Are you there? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay, mister, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let's see, tell me, what is your mother's daily routine? Um, my mother is the um sorry to hear that one mister what about somebody else in your family your dad your uncle your cousin your sister your brother i don't know okay my wife your wife go ahead tell me about your wife okay um she gets up for i am take a shower prepares breakfast, prepares her uniform. Um, I I have a question. Yes. Is correct say take the bus for some She time? takes the bus. Yes, she takes the bus. Okay. She takes the bus from Santana, arrives at the health unit around 6 a.m., then goes to different places to uh how do you say vacunar? Uh, vacunar? Yes. Vaccinate. Vaccinate? She okay. vaccinates people or vaccinate uh, children, adults, uh how do you say embarazadas? Pregnant wo uh, women. Pregnant. Pregnant? Women. Pregnant women. Uh, okay. Pregnant women. Um, return to the unit around 1 p.m. Then tabulate the result. The result. She, she become, she, be, no. Sorry, sorry. She, Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Is don't worry. Tell me what you... happened when she gets home. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's correct to say she returns home. She returns home. Okay. She returns home almost always at 3 p.m. And... Um... At six, see six, six p.m. She prepares dinner, and at ten, ten p.m. She goes to the sleep. Thank you so much, Mister. What about mm -hmm. your? Well, yesterday. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday. <laughs> oh. Okay. First, how do you say turno en el hospital? Shift. 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 Yes. Okay. I was shift uh, in the hospital. Is correct? Yes. Okay. At na uh in the emergency area, uh, there I will take the blood pressure, temperature, prepare the patients, um, prepare pills, administer medicament, uh, control vital signs of delicate patient. And uh, that is, that is, that is to all night, and that is all. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, mister. Let's see. 
And let's go with the last but no list. Uh, Walter, please. Let's begin and tell me about yourself, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. And people. My name is Walter Malunal. Uh, I wore Iron Man. Este, my favorite music is a uh, rock. My favorite food is China food. I love the beach. Um, I get up in the free day at 10 a.m. I need a beach. What is your daily routine? My daily routine is uh, get up at uh, 4 a.m., take a bus for transport from Talere to work at uh, 5 a.m., start work in the 7 a.m., uh, lunch at 11 p.m., a.m., pardon, sorry. In the, in the afternoon, uh, finish work in the 4 p.m. and uh, prepare dinner in the 6 a.m. 6 p.m. and take a class English in the 8 p.m. and finish the finish the work finish the routine and 10 p.m. sleeping. Great, excellent. Tell me, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday? Yes. My yesterday routine is similar to uh, 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 today. Get up, get up 4 a.m. Um, take a bus for I am exactly in the Star Wars at 7 a.m. Maybe different is a, a in the a yesterday my world extension in the extenderse con seriedad. I'm sorry. ¿Cómo puedo decir extender? Mi turno se extendió hasta las 8 p.m. I Overwork. I did overtime. I did overtime 8 p.m. Until 8 p.m. It's different than my routine daily. Okay. Only that is. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, people, we finish the <clears throat> evaluation now. So give me just a second. So let's see. Give me one moment, guys. In some minutes, people, I will send you the scores and everything from the evaluations. So just give me a second.
אוקיי. So guys, eh, overall, hay algunos problemitas todavía con el pasado. We need to continue working with the simple past. Ok, el siguiente módulo, we will continue working with the simple past. Ok, bears in past. Uh, there will be a lot of questions, so it will be more practice. These levels that will come, los siguientes niveles, ya vamos a ir viendo un poquito menos de gramática. Sí, vamos a descubrir cosas nuevas pero vamos a ir trabajando más. Como en la última unidad de ahora, vamos a trabajar uh, with a role play, for example. We will work with a role play. So we need to practice more speaking. ¿Ok? Eso nos va a ayudar más, bastante. Practicar speaking will help us a lot. People, on your book, if you want to, you can go to your book and the page is Give me a second. Page. Well, we are in unit three, page 32. Okay. Page. No, I'm sorry. No, page 32. No, it's page 30. Okay. People, we will see two auxiliaries right now. Se recuerdan, pasado de can is could, right? Could. I can play the guitar right now. In the future, uh, sorry, in the past, I could play the guitar. Pero el could, guys, nos ayuda para otra, para otra estructura en inglés. What is this? Well, people, let's discover, guys. Use could and would you mind to ask polite request? What is a polite request? Uh, frase de cortesía. We use this one to sound more polite. Los vamos a ocupar para sonar un poco más formales. To sound more formal. Okay? Both are really formal. Los dos son bastante formales. Pero el would you mind es más formal. Could es bastante formal. Pero el más formal es would you mind. Okay? People, let's see. Let's see the characteristics right now. And let me see. Sandra, can you help me reading all this? Read it, please. Let's see. Morris, can you help me? Reading this. Okay, is the start a request? We call you follow by. Mm, the base form. Mm, for. The uh, base, base form, form the in form of the main verb plus any complement phrase. Thank you, As Mister. That's it. Okay. Don't worry, people. What is the structure? Para ocupar el could. El could lo vamos a ocupar de la siguiente manera. Primero el could, obviamente. Then subject could you could she could we base form bear in this case base form and the complement okay miren a los ejemplos que tenemos could repeat everybody no cool no code no cow no cool could la L es muda, la O no suena, la L no suena. Y así termina con un could. Could. Repeat everybody, guys. Could. 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 Good. Could. Excellent. Could. Good. Good. Recuerden, la L no suena. Could. Y luego. Could. could you. 
could <laughs> your sister, could your father, could, okay? Could. Luego del could, could you, verbo en base form. Esto se traduciría como pudiese. Could you. Could you. Ok. Pudiese decirme qué hora, qué hora es. Could you tell me what time is it? Could you tell me? Could you tell me what time is it? Could you tell me your name? Could you tell me your name? Could you tell me your name? Could you tell me I don't know. Good. Okay. Cualquier cosa. Por ejemplo, ustedes quieren decir que yo les repita algo. Podemos decir, can you repeat? Sí. O oh, please repeat. Está bien. Pero lo mejor sería decir, could you repeat? Más formal. Could you repeat? Okay. That's something that we can say. Okay. Preguntas, guys. Do you have any question? Preguntas, todo claro? Teacher. Tell me. Eh, el, el, el crew solo se puede ocupar para segundas personas no, puede ocuparse para todo could they could they send me the information podrían ellos enviarme la información could he repeat that pero mayormente se va a decir con could you porque se le está pidiendo directamente a alguien right could you tell okay. me the time, could you tell me the hour could you tell me and so on Thank you, teacher. Good. Okay, people, pero hay la forma más formal de pedir las cosas. Esa va a ser con él. Would. Y en este caso, cuando ocupemos would, guys. Would you mind? In this case, let's see, help me reading, please. Luis, start a request. En el otro, en el would you mind? Start a request with would you mind? The base form, the uh, I and G form of the main verb plus any complement phrase, phrase. Okay. Uh, I say. That's it. Okay. People, importante. Cuando yo les pregunto con could you, la respuesta más común es que ustedes me digan yes. Yes, I could. Yes, I can. Okay? Could you tell me the hour? Yes, I can, mister. So, like that. Cuando yo le pregunto con would you, o cuando usted pregunta con would you, o alguien le diga, The most common answer would be, no, I wouldn't. No, I would not mind. No, I wouldn't mind. Would you mind? Le importaría. No puedo decir sí, porque es como que le preguntan en español. Le importaría mandarme el dinero. Sí, fíjese que no puedo. So, ese sí es como que no. Entonces yo digo, no, no, no hay problema. Hay algún problema. Imagínense que alguien le está preguntando, ¿hay algún problema si le envío esta información a su correo? Sí, fíjese, hay problema. No, right? Decimos, no, no hay problema. No, don't worry. Okay? So, for example, 
Look, would you mind calling the plant manager? Le importaría llamar al supervisor de planta. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Right away. De inmediato, ahorita mismo. Right away. Repeat everybody, guys. Right away. Right away. Right away. Good. Everybody, let's go again. Right away. Right away. Right away. Good. Would you mind getting an appointment? Appointment. Cita. Pero no cita de amor, sino cita de doctor o cita de... Whatever. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? With the HR for me. In a minute. En un minuto. Give me one moment. También podría ser una, re una respuesta. Just a second. Of course, no problem. Give me a second. Like that. Would you mind? Me importaría. Sending. Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Nora. Nora. Not a problem. Would you mind sending this information to the department? Not a problem. Not a problem. And that's the way it goes. People, esas son las respuestas. Así vamos a sonar más formales. Empiecen a usarlo, guys. Okay, no se queden con solo... Eh, repeat please no, nada de repeat please empecemos a tener más vocabulario, that was another problem guys se fue otro problema en la entrevista ahorita, mucha gente me pedía how do you say this, what is the meaning of this vocabulario tenemos que estudiar vocabulario that's going to help us a lot ok so, y cuando usted sure. ya lo sepa incluyalo sí, sí sure. Yes, sir. Tell me. Se sí, oye una, una interferencia bien rara. Creo que alguien tiene encendida la cámara. Yes, somebody had, had a noise there. Questions, guys. Preguntas, dudas. Do you have any question here? Uh, teacher. Go ahead, mister. Tell me. Eh, para el, el cool eh, sería la, la, eh, the base form of the verb. The and base the, form of the verb. And uh, for would you mind? Eh, sería I, el... I, I, okay. Exactamente la mi pregunta, entonces. Could you tell me the hour? Would you mind telling me the hour? Could you tell me the reason? Would you mind telling me the reason? Could you send me the information? Would you mind sending me the information? Okay? And that's the way it goes. Would you mind repeating this again? Could you repeat this again? And that's the way it goes, people. Okay? So, guys, let's do a little exercise right now. Let's make four examples dos con could y dos con would pero que sea la misma oración por ejemplo could you tell me the hour would you mind telling me the hour y nos volvemos y nos movemos al otro ok so let's go people let's do it four examples two and two
teacher. Tell me. Eh, sorry, es, salí por un momento. Este, eh, ¿en, ¿En qué estamos ahorita? Que le pregunte. Oh, ok. Did you hear the explanation? How to use could and how to use would you mind? Escuchó la explicación. Sí, 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 sí estuve. De hecho, okay. es una pregunta. Entonces, de eso, no fui. vamos, estamos haciendo dos ejemplos con could y dos ejemplos con would. Ah, ok. okay. Would you mind? Que sea el mismo. Por ejemplo, usted dice, could you tell me the hour? Would you mind telling me the hour? Ya sería uno. Y el otro, la, 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 la. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see. Let's listen to your examples. I want to listen to Walter. Can you give me your two examples? One with could and one with would. So it's a could you I provide? Sorry, repeat. Could you what? Would you like? Yeah. Okay. Repeat. Would you mind? Would you mind? Uh, would you mind take a taxi? Take. ¿Qué le faltaría ahí en el take? Taking. Good. Repitamos otra like? vez el, el, el ejemplo, please. Would you like taking a taxi? Would you mind? Would, Would you, you mind, mind taking a taxi? Taking a taxi? ¿Cómo sería con could? Ese mismo ejemplo. Uh, could you take a taxi? Super. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's it. Let's see. Uh, Nestor, can you help me with your two examples, please? Predis, can you help me, please? Let me see. Kevin, can you help me with your two examples? Marvin. Yes. Can you give me your two examples, please? Okay, uh, number one, could you opening the door? Could you opening or could you open? Open. 
Repeat again. Could you open the door? Could you open the door? And who seen what? Whoa, whoa, open the door. Whoa, you open the door. Le faltó ahí estos dos. So, uh, whoa, would you? Yes. Would you? Mind. Mind. Open. Repeat. Would you mind opening the door? Would you mind opening the door? Good. And the second is, could you show me the cell phones? And will you, would you mind show, showing, showing, showing me the cell phones? Exactly. Exactly. That's the way it goes. Excellent. Thank you. Reina, can you help me with your two examples, please? Let's see if Kenya, can you help me with your two examples, please? Um, could you go let me? Repeat again. Could you what? Could you what? Let me. What do you want to say? I don't get the verb. Could you? Walk. Walk. Caminar. Yes. Could you walk? Y luego? Leave it. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mm. Can you tell me in Spanish? What do you want to say? ¿Te importaría llevarme? Could you take me? El uh, verbo llevar me. sería take. Okay, uh, okay, take me. Could you take me to the hospital? ¿Podría llevarme al hospital? Could you take me to your house? Could you take me to the apartment? Or whatever. ¿Y cómo sería con would entonces ahora? Would you meet? Would you uh, mind? Repeat. Would, you, would mind? you mind? Would you mind? ¿Qué? Era. Se me olvidó el verbo. Go. Take. No. Take. El verbo era. Take, lay me. Taking me. Taking Would you mind me. taking me? People make examples. So tomorrow we continue with this one. Y mañana vemos a otro auxiliar nuevo. Entonces, please work with this. Okay? So, that's basically it, guys. We finish today's class. That will be all. Okay? Do you have any question before we finish? Thank you so much, people. Have a nice day. Take care, everybody. See you next class. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. bye people. Bye. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.